Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together. Uh, I am still continuing on that Mpumalanga uh, 2022 uh, prelim exam, right? So if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you're part of the family and of course uh, you can always get in touch with us. All our information will be find uh, will be found rather uh, on the you know in the uh, description of the video below, all right. And uh, of course, uh, please continue to like and share to with uh, share uh, you know our channel with others. Make sure that uh, you know our family is growing. All right. Now let's get right into it. We're looking at the Doppler effect, right? So uh, in this case, we are given that the sound waves below are emitted by a bird that is flying in a straight line at a constant height, uh, state, uh, rather take the speed of sound in air as 340 meters per second. Right, so the first question they ask us there is write down uh, the wavelength of the waves in meters. Now, look at this, they gave you 60 uh, centimeters there. Right, but in this case, uh, what are we supposed to have? Remember that wavelength, you can either measure it from uh, crest to crest, or in this case, from two points uh, that are exactly similar from one another. So in this case, how many waves do we have? We've got uh, one, we've got another one, two, and we've got three. So all of them make a length of 60. So it means that we'll say 60 divided by three, and that will be obviously 20 centimeters. However, they did say we should give that in meters. So remember 20 centimeters, you say 20 divided by 100. So that would be uh, 20 over 100 there. And that should give us 0 0.2 meters, right? Okay, so they say to us, calculate the frequency of the waves. Right, now please I want you to keep in mind when we talk about the frequency, we are, okay, so we're looking at uh, question 6.2, right? So when we talk about frequency, we know that frequency is uh, actually V, not C this time, uh, because we are talking about the Doppler effect and not uh, speed of light. So that's V divided by lambda, which is the wavelength, right? So we're given the speed. In this case, please remember that the speed is not the speed of the object that's moving, but it is rather the speed of sound. And remember, we're given that speed of sound as 340 uh, meters per second. And our wavelength in this case, uh, remember we did say that is 0 0.2. Okay, so let's find that. Uh, so that's 340 divided by 0 0.2. Okay, and that gives us 1,700. Okay, so that's 1,700 hertz in this case. Right, so so for uh, 6.3, right, so um, they say a detector fixed to a pole at a frequency, or, or rather at the same height at which the bird is flying, measures the frequency of the sound emitted by the bird to be 1,620. Uh, I'm sure you can already see that, uh, you know, the detected frequency is less than, uh, in this case, the, um, uh, you know, the emitted frequency or rather the, the, the frequency of the source in this case, which is the bed, right? So obviously that simply means that, uh, you know, the bed must be moving away from uh, that detector there. Right, now, uh, the first question says, state the Doppler effect in words, right? So remember, when we talk about the Doppler effect, we say it's, a, it, it's an apparent change in the frequency of the sound that is observed, right? If the source and the listener move relative uh, to one another and the sound medium, okay? Right, please remember, it's not really, um, uh, you know, the most, easiest but it's not really that difficult either right now that next question they say to us calculate the speed at which the bird is flying right so we've already established that uh, obviously it must be that the bird is flying away right from the um you know from the detector and remember we've got a station a stationary uh, detector listener so that's going to be we start with the formula please remember you write the formula as it appears in your data sheet, so multiplied by Fs, right? 
but we know in this case um, the velocity of the listener is zero so we've got v over v and v s now remember we said it is moving away right so in this case we know that we we're going to have a lesser frequency by the way we can even substitute it there we found it to be 1620 okay so that's 1620 okay and we know the frequency of the source is 1700 okay so now we want to find out are we going to put the plus or the minus now what i did say to you is remember whenever you multiply something with a proper fraction right so 1 over 2 let's say multiplied by 6 the answer becomes less right uh, you end up 3 uh, you end up with 3 rather so in this case that means whenever you take a proper fraction you multiply uh, something in this case you end up with a lesser number and that's the case here it means this must be a proper fraction so that when i multiply with 7 uh, 1700 i get a lesser number so means the denominator must be bigger than the numerator so in this case that will be plus i hope that makes sense to you right so let's substitute what we already know the speed of sound is 340 okay divided by 340 uh, plus vs okay and that gives us a thousand seven hundred now of course uh, we're left with just the mathematics here and um, i bet you most of you uh, you know that's where you guys uh, tend to make uh, quite a number of mistakes but uh, let's do this let's say this is over one okay and let's make this as easy as possible for ourselves right so i'm going to multiply those numerators together okay so i've got 340 multiplied by 1700 okay and i'm going to cross multiply so which means that 340 times vs will be multiplied by uh in this case uh, 1620 right and in this case um uh, uh, 340 rather plus vs so i'll have 1620 into 340 plus vs all right hope that makes sense of course uh, the two that i've multiplied there uh, i'm going to multiply it by one and that's why i get that uh, over this side okay right so let's make it simple for ourselves we we'll divide by 1620 uh, but what i do on the left i'll do on the right see i'm trying to make it as easy as possible so i've got 340 plus vs is equal to now let's try and work that out 340 okay so that's 340 uh, multiplied by 1700 okay and this is divided by 1620 okay and i get an answer there okay and now i'm going to take that 340 and subtract from that answer in this case so that's minus okay so that's subtract 340 and i get an answer there which is 16.79 okay so my answer would be 16.79 meters per second all right and that would be the speed of at which the bird is flying okay uh, actually uh, let's remove that there okay so vs is 16.79 please verify that with me okay and they ask us the question finally is the bird flying towards or away from the detector and of course in this case it would be flying away and how do we know that because the detected frequency is less than the emitted frequency of a thousand seven hundred okay right and that's it uh, how the cookie crumbles when it comes to the doppler effect i hope that you were able to follow and that of course you will be able to answer uh, whether and uh, now or in future even as you prepare for your exams you'll be able to answer those questions all right otherwise from me your favorite uncle i'll see you guys again next time and please don't forget to like don't forget to also uh, just recommend or uh, in this case share with as many people as possible shop shop